Hello, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media, and we're looking at patch 1.2 for Star Wars The Old Republic. So one of the biggest new features in patch 1.2 is the new operations called Explosive Conflict. Uh, from what I've read, uh, Explosive Conflict's tuned to be roughly as hard as sort of like a, a in-between between hard mode and nightmare mode EV slash Karaga. So it's it's pretty hard on the on the basic setting, which is called story mode. There's there's actually a, a new system for difficulty in uh, in this new operations, which is story mode, and then a, a hard mode. There is no more nightmare mode. You can actually still do, you know, EV and Karaga's in nightmare mode, but I guess going from this point forward, they're changing it. So what I'm showing here is just the trash leading up to the first boss. Uh, lots of Trandoshans to grind through. And I just wanted to quickly talk about the trash here because uh, a couple interesting points that we... This is our very first time in here. We had not seen really any video content and we're just flying blind. But um, lots of stealth units, lots of pathing units. And if you wipe before the boss, all the trash respawns. And I'll show you my, my frustration in a second. Uh, here we're back at the beginning and there it is, completely respawned. So actually the, the group of, of enemies tied to this respawning is, is this group that, I, that we're marking up down here. Once you clear that group and, and get to the first boss, then, then you can wipe and, and return to this point without having to re-clear everything along the way. And I also wanted to point out that, that a lot of the trash uh, leading up to the first boss is, is you can skip these uh, pulls by simply uh, hugging the, the right of the area and just sort of, you know, staying as far right as possible and, and maneuvering around about half the, the pulls that you would normally need to do if you actually took the road up. So just a, uh, another couple of words on the trash itself. It's, it, the trash isn't difficult. Uh, it just requires some CC and just a focus fire on, on targets. You can get overwhelmed. Uh, the champion uh, class enemies do a really nasty uh, AOE sort of death from above target on the ground that you do not want to stand in. It, it's pretty nasty. But, um, but yeah, I mean the trash is, is very straightforward. As long as you just you know take it take it carefully and and not pull extras so here we're showing the, the first boss uh, which is actually a, a double boss and, you know similar to the second boss in Karaga and this uh, is sort of like I said flying blind and what we're attempting to do is is just you know tank the two bosses apart from one another and seeing how that works basically from what we figured out they need to be tanked as far apart from one another as possible because they will buff one another go figure that's never been done before and so so you do that and there's a lot of nasty splash damage and um, what we tried on this first attempt was to was to kill them sort of you know, as, as one single unit taking them down, you know, damage wise, you know, approximately at the same time. And didn't really work out, but I'm not sure if that means the strat was flawed or just we just don't know enough about the fight yet in terms of the mechanics because there's a, you know, still a pretty new fight. So a couple more uh, points about the first boss uh, in terms of abilities. As you can see, they sort of, you can see a little lightning surge that, that connects the two. What happens is occasionally uh, that one of the one of the two bosses will leap to the other boss. He won't lose aggro on, on whichever tank is tanking him, but he'll momentarily meet up with the boss and, and sort of give each other this buff which increases damage dealt and then reduces damage taken and it stacks. So he gains that momentarily and, and, and then he runs back to the tank. So it eventually wears off but it's still you know it just kind of reaffirms that you want to tank them as far apart from one another as possible the only problem with that of course is is you lose some dps if you're if your ranger melee uh you know downtime wise when, when he leaps over he, he he basically leaps out of range so you want to kind of find that that sweet spot in terms of range and once again, this is Matthew for Technomicon Media. For the full article on patch 1.2 features and uh, highlights, visit us at www.technomicon.com.